Hey guys, Soccer Bro here. I'm back for now. Um, I kind of just wanted to do like a little update for IG TV. Um, I'm recording off my phone right now. Um, also, so I'm I'm just wondering if everyone has gotten like an update on their phone, like, because recently I noticed that like YouTube has changed, and um, I tried uploading. A video off my phone like a very short one like a um a small short guinea pig herd video i made a guinea pig herd vlog i haven't uploaded it yet i'm going to um it was recorded a few days ago so yeah um i also have my hood up because um i'm just having a bad hair day and it's still like early in the morning and yeah this is my cat hmm. Hmm. but yeah i was wondering if you guys guys's um phones got an update that you can upload onto youtube from your phone i don't know how good that is because you can't put tags and stuff in that and um shush she had she just had breakfast so like she she's just a very vocal cat anyway i was just wondering if you guys have done that i've tried in um i tried playing it off of my phone to watch the video after i uploaded it it turns out i can like and comment on it but it just doesn't play off my phone. I'm just hoping if you guys have seen that upload, does it work off of your guys' phone and it's just not working for me? I just want to know. Also, Instagram has updated and I kind of like the update because the format's different. It's kind of hard to navigate right now, but I'll get used to it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty well. I don't know if people with like lower iPhones got that update like not like if you have an iphone 11 i think it's still updated but like if you have like an 8 down like from 10 to 12 i think um everyone got that update but obviously because like i used to have the 7 and it just it did do that but um yeah i still kind of have to update my phone and everything else and um anyway i just wanted to get through a couple things um, I'm probably going to continue doing my IGTV series, but again, that's probably going to be mostly on my blog versus my main account. So I just wanted you guys to, so you guys don't miss anything, like in general, just follow both of the accounts, please. Um, that would help me out and that would help you guys out so you guys don't miss anything. Because there's a lot of stuff that I put on my main account that I don't put on my blog and it's just easier to follow both. I know it could be a hassle following both, but it's literally doing you a favor because, again, I don't post the same things on both accounts. They're both my accounts, yes, but, um, again, not the same content always goes on both of them. Like, I don't update people much on my YouTube channel, on my main account, because there's a lot of people who follow me off of my school who go to my school and stuff, and, like, I just get, like, a bunch of hate from that, so that's why I they don't really follow me on my blog so i put it all up there so i just don't get unnecessary hate for no reason because again i'm just doing what i feel like it is and it's technically a job and everything else shush moo moo but yeah i'm just saying like if someone's happy about something and you know or they've literally brought up that they just have a crappy life just leave people alone in general just be kind you don't know what people have gone through and everything else Whew. okay and plus i went through something like very stressful yesterday i'm fine about it now but like so the mercury got a new battery because the one that it had just like burned out my mom was having trouble turning like starting the car and the battery that was in the car it was changed in like 2003 so technically the battery's younger than me like two years younger 
It was 17 years old, and I'm 18, two years younger. And it kind of feels like a year because I'm, yeah, but technically I'm going to be turning 19 next month. So technically it's still two years younger because it's 2003. I was born in 2001. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to continue my IGTV series. We're going to continue exploring. I know I've been focusing on my modeling recently because, um, I just haven't had the time to go out and do more exploring stuff, like going to newer places. I mean, there's still a lot to do at the meadows that I haven't covered yet, and I'm gonna try to do that. But today, I kind of want to go out and just have fun just being out because I've been home for a really long time, and I just really feel like it's good to get out and away from home, you know? <sighs> yeah. And I've been highly stressed out, too, so it would be just good to be, to get out. And, um, I want to do more YouTube content, because, again, I feel like I've been slacking. Um, and I've been very depressed lately, so I feel bad when I haven't, like, posted and everything else when I usually do. Like, this morning, I, I've been waking up early, but I just don't feel like... I'll post once on one account, and then I lose the motivation to post on my other accounts because i got to update everything. And also, I kind of want to do some work with Willow today, but I'm going to do an indoor shoot because it's cold. And um, I just want to do something special for her 700th post on her main account, and I've been doing her account since 2019. I worked so hard on that account. And it's one of my most sexful, successful accounts, my bad, versus my shared photography account and my anime account. Because I have, like, almost 5K on my anime account. And I'm getting close to that, and it just feels nice. Because, again, I've, been, I've had that account since 7th grade, so it's really good to see how it's, like, recently just blowing up like crazy, and I'm just, like, I don't know what I did, it just, it, it just randomly did, um, but again, that one isn't really, like, my main content anyway, like, that account was just for fun, and it just blew up, like, same with, um, the shared photography account, but again, that's not really mine, that was made after I wanted to do something fun with my friend and she didn't want to do a blog so we just did photography because we're both into photography but um she doesn't post that much so it literally just got all plopped over on me and I just didn't want to let the account go to waste so I've been working my ass off on that account as well and it eventually blew up and once it blew up she kind of wanted to do some posting and stuff and it's just been stressing me out because, again, I have, like, so many accounts that I do with content because I just love starting new things and just keeping things going and keeping everything consistent. Like, I'm really good multitasker if I'm highly motivated and if, if it's something that I love. That's why you guys see a lot of, like, car content a lot because it's just easier for me to get Mercury content because the Mercury is, like, always here and, like, I can just work with... <laughs> the car more um than anything else because a lot of times I can't really take photos of myself like I don't want to take a bunch of selfies because I want like a full like I want you guys to see my whole body like I don't want you to just see like I want like you guys to see like everything um I mean yeah once in a while I'll post selfies but it's not gonna be that much um but again and one of my fans on my blog um suggested a really cool place to go in Northampton I don't really want to specifically say too much of the information because it's a surprise and I really want to go there and do content there um and he's also suggested other places as well and I really do appreciate that he's actually reaching out to me and actually talking to me and just we're just like going back and forth like because we both like exploring and stuff and we suggest places on where to go and explore and everything else and from everywhere I've gone I've covered a lot but again I want to cover more and do other places that I just don't know yet and when we did the horse trails the first time 
and we literally just kept walking in. I didn't know we were going to find that area, and I thought that that was really cool, and I still have no idea what those buildings are, but if you go further up, um, like that way up the um, trails, um, you literally are going through like the blue trail, like if you go through that one, and this is in Gravy, right? You keep going, and then you're going to see like a whole built wall. It's like... There used to be, like, buildings up in there. I don't know what it's for, but they're really old. And they're just made out of rocks and everything else. Rock and, like, cement or whatever. And it's just really cool. I don't know if it's um, haunted, but... Again, if you do go on the trails, be careful. Because there's, like, bears walking everywhere and everything. Like, there was a girl jogging that one time you went. And that was probably the one time that I couldn't... Because my mom was working that day and we just didn't have time to refilm. So that was just the time that I went and we just took photos and there was no, like, YouTube video for that. And then we went back the next time. Yeah, she, like, while I was recording the video, like, she just came in and she literally told us while I was recording that there were, like, cubs. And once you know if there's cubs around, you can't stay, you can't go over there because where there's bear cubs... There's going to be an angry mother bear somewhere, and, like, if the cubs come up to you, yeah, it's not their fault because they're curious, but if the if the mother bear ever finds out about it, she will try to literally chase you or attack you or just anything, so it's just better to, like, get notified before and just not go down there. But I'm also thankful for that because we went the other way and we just ended up finding a much better area, but... Um, the next time we go, I kind of want to go to that area, and I feel like one of the other videos that I did there, I covered more areas that we just didn't know were there because we went farther instead of just turning back and going the other way, and when you're there, like, there's also going to be other people's on the trail, and so you gotta just make sure that, again, social distancing, but, like... There's also going to be horses and everything else. You're going to see horses. And it's just it's just fun. Um, and I also... I feel like in the the newest video I did while we were there, they were, I kind of got guys like throwing a frisbee in either in the background or they just came up on camera. I don't know if they knew if I was recording or not. But I was just like... I didn't know if I wanted to upload that video because like I don't know if they're like doing that on purpose to get on the thing i mean it's pretty obvious when i'm recording like you could tell when i'm like recording if you you know but um yeah that was interesting but i again i don't know if i uploaded that video it's probably up and i just forget about it because it was a while ago um but yeah i'm in a good mood right now but it's probably gonna be wasted later <laughs> but um not far later but probably when my father comes home because he was wa he worked today so thank goodness i have like a full day that i can literally just do whatever the heck i want obviously without having to like worry or anything huh <sighs> but yeah i kind of want to get back into doing everything but i just don't feel like doing every anything today because again i'm still kind of feeling depressed i mean i might feel i might look like i'm in a good mood right now but i i just don't feel like posting much but i still want to go out and get content i just don't feel like doing anything at all once i'm at home and if you're wondering what that hole in, in the ceiling is that was for like a punching bag years ago um for someone who used to live down here, um, cause that was just years ago, like, I was, like, a little toddler when they, um, put a punching bag in, but we don't know where the ceiling panel thing is for that, so we just never fixed it, so it, it's just like that, um, I just wanted to cover that just in case you guys didn't know, um, but yeah, since I have a new phone, I feel like if I do upload IGTV videos, it'll work now. And yeah, I just feel like everything is starting to settle back in. And um, 
everything else but i feel like everything that i have on my phone right now is just really old and i kind of want to go out and do something new and fresh um i'm still gonna post a lot of the stuff that i haven't covered yet and most of the photos that i've been posting recently are mostly either that i randomly took with my phone if this is like the photography accounts because the camera quality is just better um, if it, if the quality of recording of this kind of looks horrible, it's only because of the lighting. It's not because of the camera at all. And shush, moo moo. Yeesh. Shush, 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 shush. Um, but yeah. And also, I've noticed recently that my cat literally just tries to hang out on the ceiling whenever my dad's home for, like, school days and I'm remote. Or if I'm Lara, if I go to school and he's home and then she's just here, she just hangs up in the ceiling until I get home, until he leaves. I feel so bad for my moo. But, um, obviously she's not on the ceiling right now because I'm holding her right here. But, um, like, I've, I've just been noticing that, and I feel bad. And then I kind of feel lonely, and I feel worse when she's just chilling up in the ceiling, and I'm just here doing, like, schoolwork, and I'm just like, ugh. We, um, did try, um, going to my grandmother's house, and for me to do remote work there, but, um, we couldn't yesterday because the car wouldn't start and we just got a new battery um so technically i learned that um the mercury grand marquis lincoln town ford has their battery is like a 65 volt for like their car it's actually a pretty big car battery but it makes sense since like she's literally like a yacht on real wheels bleh um so, yeah, and I tried to actually lift it to, um, carry it out, and it was actually really heavy, and I realized, since I've been depressed for a really long time, I've actually lost a lot of weight, and I haven't been, like, working out as much as I used to, um, I actually usually, from... My gym class last year, I really liked working on the dumbbells and everything else. So, like, I literally just lost all the muscle that I actually worked up in my arms from, like, last year. So, I kind of felt like that I looked really stupid trying to help my mom lift it. So, I just had her carry it because I really couldn't actually pick it up at all. It was literally that heavy. And I was just like... It made me feel like absolute shit because like I just couldn't lift it and it was just highly embarrassing because like the Walmart clerk was just watching me struggle. She did eventually like lift it up and take it but I was just like it was just really embarrassing and my mom was literally just standing there watching me struggle to pick it up making me look so bad in front of like the employee. And I just felt like I looked so weak in that moment. And it just irritated me. So, like, that just made me feel like crap. Absolute crap. Um, <sighs> but, yeah. Um, I'm over that now because it was, like, 24 hours ago. Well, probably not 24 hours ago. Probably, like, 9 or so. Um, but we went to Ren Renee B's. Um, that's a restaurant that my mom's friend owns and that I've known since I've been alive. Um, yeah, and, um, the person next door to her restaurant is a mechanic and he works and restores on cars. He, blah. He, wor he buys and restores and he's... A mechanic in general like he does like all of it like body work and everything um and he's a really nice guy i've actually talked to him a couple times um mostly he talks to me because like it feels because i don't know him that well so i don't 
talk to him first. But, um, yeah, he's just a really nice guy, and he offered to literally, if my mom bought the new battery, he would put it in. Um, and he did. And now we have a new car battery, and we're actually going to go to Roy's on Wednesday to get an oil change and to have him look over the car and everything else to see what we need to do. Um, for those of you who don't know, my mom is the full owner of the Grandma Kius. And um, I really love that car, and I post content about her all the time. Maybe not all the time, but a lot. I just really care about that car. One, it's a really good car, and it's really good made. Um, it was one of, in my opinion, it's the best cars ever made in the year 2000 in general. I am highly critical of a lot of cars that came out in the 2000 year to, like, in the middle of the 2000s. Um, again, it depends on the car, what type. The brand doesn't really matter much, but, um, again, it really just depends, but in my opinion... Anyway, like, I, and plus, that car was in our family for, like, 20 years, and it's been, I've been around that car literally my whole life. I have so many memories with that car, and so has my sister, and it's literally not just a car. It's, like, a family member, and I know I literally say this a lot, but I just want to, like, remind you guys um, how much importance passing down things in your family is, and what brings nostalgia to you, especially when you're in a low point, it's good to keep things or people who make you happy, no matter what people say, no matter what their opinion, is how you feel inside is what matters, and... I like to take care of that car really well. I know more about it than my mom does, and she owns it. And I've washed the car. I've done so much with the car, not just making, like, content and stuff. Like, I literally, if if I feel horrible, I literally just go outside and just spend time with the car. Or I just spend time with my cat or the animals. I mean, there's not much I can literally go and do. Like, I would also, like, take walks, too, obviously. But, um, most of my time I spend with the car, in general. Like, I just really love the car, and I like to take care of the car. And I know a lot more about the car than a lot of people who either literally just recently bought theirs and all that. Um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying, like, I just really care about this car, and it means a lot to me in general. And I hope that one day I inherit it and I will take so good care with it. Um, out of all the cars that I've liked, I've always liked um, Ford Mercury's. Like, out of all the Fords, and I know I'm a Ford lover in general, but out of all the Fords, Mercury, the Mercury's, and... The Mustangs are literally my two ultimate favorites. But if it's, like, with the trucks, I technically like all the trucks. I don't really have a specific preference for any of them. But they're all pretty powerful for what you need. Um, I understand why the F-150 is, like, pretty powerful and everything. And, yeah. But... I feel like Lincoln Town Ford should literally just resurface because, um, again, they did cars right because a lot of cars that are made now are just, a lot of them are just shit, to be honest. Um, it's not, it's not the technology that you're using is the problem. It's just how the design, what you, the materials you use to make the car and just because it's an electric car doesn't mean it's always going to be efficient. Um, I'm just saying, um, don't get me wrong. Like, I am interested in, like, electric cars and, like, um, let's say, 
Tesla. I know Porsche made like a new electric car. I like Porsches a lot. But again, I'm more of like an American car person. Because the, the European cars that I like the brands the most would be like BMW and Porsche. Um, but yeah. Um, or Honda. And Honda, my bad. <laughs> if I want to go for a Japanese car, I would go for Honda. <laughs> Obviously, because they're just made better. Um, Toyota only depends if you like you live in Europe and you you buy it there. They're more effective than buying it in like America or Massachusetts or in Europe in the U.S. in general. But I just feel like it's kind of funny because there's a lot of American cars that are being built in like Canada and that are being shipped here and I'm only bringing that up because the Mercury is one of them and it's funny or at least ours is from it was made in Canada then brought here I just think it's funny because like my family's from Canada and we're Canadian French so I just feel like that's hilarious um but yeah anyway back to what I was saying like Porsche made a recent um, electric car, um, apparently, what I've heard, it's a really good car, but I, in my opinion, I just don't like the style of what they did, comparing it to, like, the other style of Porsches, but again, like, I like the back of the car design, but I do not like the front design, in my opinion, but the, again, that's my opinion, it depends on, like, the color and everything else, I don't know, um, again, I've liked Porsche for, like, years upon years, but I'm just saying, like, I just, from what I'm used to seeing of Porsche, it just feels weird on why they would take that drastic turn with that style, but again, they're probably just doing that because a lot of people are going towards the electric cars now, um, but yeah. I mean, it is better for the environment, but I just don't agree with some of the styling that they are um, going for. I mean, Rolls-Royce makes sense to me, and I like them better only because they give the classic feel. But anyway, I don't know why I'm, like, talking about cars for a straight, like, 50 minutes here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got lost track. See? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mo mo shush mo Again she got fed and she has water so I don't know why she keeps meowing at me. Uh, I got lost track of what I was talking about. Um but yeah, just so just to know everything there there's gonna be more stuff coming, just so you know. But again it, like my schedule for getting stuff up and I like do I like to upload and post daily as you guys know um but I'm just saying it's just hard when when I'm on school days I'll probably post once on each account and I'll upload probably once unless if I'm doing it through passing time or during lunch <sighs> but I don't know how that would go because I can't because when I'm Mondays and Tuesdays I'm in school in the building and I can't bring my personal laptop in like I have to bring like the Chromebook and that kind of really sucks because I can't really um, upload or anything because I'm not gonna sign in to my um, personal email or anything on there again because like the school owns that computer it's not your computer and I just don't feel comfortable doing that because it might screw up somehow everything and um also for some odd reason they really shouldn't do this because it's highly creepy like they have trackers on those computers so one creepy two i'm not gonna risk anything <laughs> but yeah and then also for my remote days i'm gonna be going to my grandma's house so i would mostly focus on my work and i kind of don't want to do anything content related unless if it's a reel and I'm posting that up because it's just easier and it's faster um only because I don't want to ignore my grandma when I'm there and she also has 
um, dementia and I don't want to like ignore her and if she needs help with something I gotta be always ready to like stand up and stuff so that's another reason why I would just post once on like school days depending on if I have school or not but um it's only again it's mostly because my grandma has Alzheimer's and like if I'm in the middle of class and I just always have to keep checking on her to make sure that she's okay and that if she needs help I need to be there to help her with anything um if she's doing like yard work or something and I know that I can't just leave class to do that but um well I mean I could because like that's my grandma obviously family first <laughs> but um yeah, I'm not gonna, like, do any, like, hashtaggy things. Um, I might still do uploading on YouTube. Maybe, because I, that's when I uploaded the small video. Um, well, I was literally at, um, her house when I uploaded it. So, I don't know if that messed it up. Because she has, like, Wi-Fi now, so, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it would, I don't think it would, but, um, yeah. So, anyway, I'll let you guys go, um, if you watch this video fully, I thank you so much, even though I know I'm highly boring in general, um, <laughs> yeah, but thank you for listening and everything else, and, um just thank you for all the love and support it really does mean a lot and um i'll see you guys when i post up next time and everything else but before i literally end this i just want to say um if you guys wanted to be a part of a squad group or anything i put up in my main account it's still on my story right now so I only got two responses and so I only have two people on my squad for like content and stuff like tagging and everything. I didn't start that yet because again I only got two responses and I just wanted you guys to like have time to actually respond. Um, I'll add my main account down in like below in like the description or something for you guys to see. And again have a beautiful weekend. Saturday and Sunday, because today is Saturday. <laughs> um, anyway, have a good day, and see you guys later.